This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a plug and chug problem, right? They give us values for x and y, and they say, hey, evaluate this expression, and it has a bunch of x and y's in it. So the process is basically plug in and then simplify. The, real cho the only choice here really is um, when do you plug in? So one option is to plug in immediately. But I actually find that dealing with uh, numbers and radicals is actually a little bit more cumbersome than dealing with variables themselves. So I'm going, you notice none of these have uh, there's no parentheses, for example, in the answer choices. So we're going to need to um, foil this out. Personally, I prefer to foil that um, as is before the substitution. So I'm going to do that first. So let's do uh, 2, 2x two squared is the first times the first. Do the outside, then we'll do the inside, and then we'll do the last two. So 2x two squared plus... 2xy plus 3xy plus 3y squared. So this simplifies to 2x squared plus 5xy plus 3y squared. And I can see now this is going to be uh, much preferable plugging in here. So let's plug in the 3, root 3 for the x's and uh, root 2 for the y's and we'll get 2 root 3 squared plus 5 root 3 times root 2 plus 3 root 2 squared. So root 3 squared is just 3 so we'll get 2 times 3 plus root 3 times root 2 is root 6 and you can see that you have those in your answer choices, so that's a good thing to have. And then root 2 squared is 2, so 2 times 3 again is 6. And we end up with 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 5 root 6, which is your last answer choice.